Hello everyone, Zach Barnes for the WT Sports Network welcoming you to this week's edition of Heard That. Buffalo baseball getting all of the miles in this last weekend going to Texas A&M Kingsville for their four game series. The Buffs started off well getting some solid wins in the first two games of the series. And then the last two games of the series both ended up as one run games as the Halloweenas were able to win the last two. You know, I thought we played actually really good baseball all weekend long, lost two one-run games. I thought uh, we had a chance to sweep the series, and uh, obviously it, it's a tough place to go and play. You know, in game three, uh, I thought our guys played as hard as they've played all year long. We didn't play great baseball, but we played hard. That was an extremely hot day. I mean, I think it was heat index of 110, 115, somewhere around there. And uh, to go into extra innings there and compete the way we did, uh, I really liked the guy, the way the guys played that game. Uh, we were unfortunate. Uh, we had a lead going into whatever the ninth, tenth inning, something like that. Just wasn't able to hold that lead. Didn't play really good defense uh, behind McAllister, and uh, that was a frustrating loss. But then came out again on uh, Sunday and uh, you know played a good baseball game. I mean, it was it was four really good baseball games down there. They're a really good team, and anytime you go on the road, obviously. Uh, you know, we're not satisfied with the split. Uh, we would have liked to have won a couple more games and, uh, you know, had a chance to win the conference this last weekend. But, uh, you know, we went down there and competed, and that's all you can ask. Up next for the Buffs, they'll be back at home for senior weekend in the final series of the regular season. They'll be playing host to the Angelo State Rams. Another big weekend. Um, you know, it's it's looking like it's probably going to be back down in Kingsville, uh, the conference tournament stuff. But uh, this weekend's huge. I mean, for in-region games and and just to get to winning winning ball games, we're at home. Hopefully, we'll have a good crowd because it is a obviously a really good Angelo team. They're set number one in the region right now. And uh, you know, this past week we were number four in the region. So um, I expect a really good crowd and a really good baseball this weekend. Lady Buff softball also on the road this last weekend, but not having to travel quite as far as baseball. The Lady Buffs went to Patales to take on the Greyhounds of Eastern New Mexico in their regular season finale. The Lady Buffs had a solid weekend getting the three-game sweep over the Greyhounds. And with the big performances, Ashley Harden was named the Lone Star Conference Hitter of the Week, and Kylie Halbert named the Lone Star Conference Pitcher of the Week. Well, I think we got to feel good about where we are offensively. You know, uh... Swung the bat really well this weekend. We had, had a lot of big weekend or you know, big performances. Courtney Coveney on day one with three home runs swung the bat really well. Uh, Ashley Harden had two home runs on Friday and one yesterday. And Kylie Moore hit a couple home runs on Friday and missed one yesterday by about three inches. So uh, you know I'm excited about where we're where we're at offensively. Pitching wise, Kylie's throwing the ball well. You know she's uh, she's giving us what she can, and, and and that's that's good for us right now. Cammy Merrill is coming out of the bullpen and doing a really good job as a closer for us, and uh, you know Alexis Alfonso is is doing her job also. So we're going to kind of pitch by committee as we go into the postseason, and you know hopefully uh, Kylie can go out and, and and give us strong innings to start, and we'll run everybody else in behind her and see what we can do. The solid weekend for the Lady Buffs solidified their number two seed in the Lone Star Conference Championship Tournament this weekend. The Lady Buffs will get the first round bye and will take on the winner of Cameron and Texas A&M Commerce in the semifinal. Well, considering where we are with with with, with Kylie, uh, I, I'm I would rather have the bye. I wouldn't want to play two games on the first day because that would really stretch our pitching out. But uh, you know, obviously, we have to be prepared because whoever we play is going to come off some momentum and win in the first game and you know we have to make sure we come out early and shut that down but uh, I think the bye especially uh, you know with the weather conditions it's going to be pretty hot in San Angelo I think a bye helps us. Lady Buff softball not the only ones competing for a conference championship this weekend as Buff and Lady Buff track and field will be heading to Texas A&M Commerce for the outdoor championships. I mean, it's going to be business as usual as far as what we do, you know, as far as what other teams do. I, I can't control that. You know, I know Angelo is probably going to be gunning for us. They always are. And um, it's always, it just seems that we're always going back and forth throughout that three-day period uh, battling for that top spot. And, and I think our men have a legitimate chance to knock Commerce off this year. Um, we just, we got to make sure that we strategically put our kids in the right places and it, with, the, with the given time schedule to score the most points that we can. And, and uh, like I said, we're still trying to get a couple guys healthy. Hopefully uh, we're okay going in there this week, but um, you know, we're gonna put our best foot forward. We'll see. Lady Buff Golf will also be busy through the week as on the 8th through the 10th, they will be in Wichita Falls for the regional championship. 
And then lastly, on the 4th through the 6th, WT Equestrian will be in Lexington, Kentucky for the National Championships. We'd like to thank you for joining us this week on Heard That. As always, to keep up with your favorite buff and lady buff sports, just head over to GoBuffsGo.com and come back here every Wednesday for Heard That. For the WT Sports Network, I'm Zach Barnes, and we'll see you next week.